What's up, YouTube? Sean the Gamer here, bringing you a quick little video on reasons why I think uh, Bailey and Finn Dollar or Samoa Joe will not make their main roster debuts until early summertime. So, a lot of people think that's crazy, that's too long. But you have to think about it like this we just got done with WrestleMania and we just got a whole bunch of debuts, you know, hashtag Raw After Mania. We got Enzo and Cass. We got Apollo Crews. Uh, we had the VOD villains on SmackDown. Apollo Crews. Enzo and Cass. I already say them. Um, but that's like five. And then we're still expecting uh, Gallows and Anderson to show up. They're, I'm recording this uh, Monday. April 11th, so this is a Raw night, and they're in Las Vegas where they are tonight, so they might show up tonight, they might not, who knows, but that's seven, six, seven debuts in like the span of a week, and that's a lot when you really think about it, no matter how you try to slice it, that's a lot, and we don't, they don't really need to come up right now, especially, let's talk about Bailey first, Bailey doesn't need to come up right now because she's still on her, I'm gonna call it the Sami Zayn art, where she lost her title. Now she has to help. I don't say put over Asuka. But you know she has to have her rematch with Asuka. <coughs> her rematch with Asuka. And uh, help. Maybe they're going to bring in somebody new. Maybe a new woman. Maybe we'll get. Hopefully we'll get Velvet Sky or Angelina Love. She just had her baby. Maybe she's ready to come back. Maybe we'll get somebody totally different. You know. Hopefully we'll get like a big name that Bigley can help put over before she came over. Because before she comes up. Like uh, Sami Zayn did with Shinsuke. So I'm not expecting to see Bailey make a debut until like June. So, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but not, you know, what are we, April, May, June. Yeah, like, June, July, you whatever, you know, SummerSlam is what, August? So, yeah, she's going to have her match, her first, you know, pay-per-view, WWE pay-per-view match in August, maybe before then, because they're not really bringing up a lot of these people, like Apollo Crews and some of these people. They're just testing the waters, you know, to see how it uh, looks. And speaking of, like, you know, the women's, it doesn't make sense to bring up Bailey right now when you still have the whole Charlotte WWE Championship and Sasha hasn't got the belt yet. We all know Sasha's getting the belt before SummerSlam and it only makes sense. So you don't have to put Bailey and Sasha right away. I would have Bailey Sasha uh WrestleMania 33, WrestleMania in Orlando. That'd be a great uh wrestling main event for the women's. So you can build that out. And as far as, you know, um Balor Joe, I wouldn't bring them up right now because they'll get lost in the call-up shuffle. And it only makes sense to, like, set them aside for a second. And if you want to put the belt on Joe for a little while or yada, yada, yada. I don't see Joe winning the NXT title. I see him coming right up and trying to get that WWE title. Uh, Balor, Balor is pretty much the face of NXT right now. So they still need to push him until they find out who they want to be the new face. AKA either Shinsuke, Bobby Roode, or Austin Aries, one of them three. Um, and just go from there. But I don't see them two coming up. So guys, stop, stop trying to rush it. Stop trying to rush Bailey and one of those two guys to come up. The one, the time is right. The time will be right. And like I said, there's more story to be told on the main roster and down there in NXT. Well, there's more story that needs to finish on the main roster so you can clear up space for one of, well, either Joe or Balor and Bailey to come up to have first storyline to have the spotlight on them so they don't get lost in the shuffle, which is the uh, two title pictures that are on the main roster. So those are just my quick thoughts on that because I know a lot of people are like, why didn't Bailey come up? It's not time. It's not time. Wait for Sasha to get the belt. And I'm calling it now. Making a bold prediction. Sasha Banks will get the championship at Night of Champions. That's my prediction. If she gets it, you know, what's the next pay-per-view? Payback? I will be completely shocked. But I'm thinking Night of Champions will be a great night to give her the belt. You know, have, have Charlotte keep doing what she's doing. Yada, yada, yada. And then just have Sasha Banks hold the belt for a while. I say have her hold the belt to a WrestleMania and then drop it to Bayley. Because you can have Sasha, Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch until then. Sasha Banks versus Naomi. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte again for rematches. Sasha Banks versus um, just a whole bunch of different people on the main roster. Uh, Natty. So you already have four big, four nice views to hold 
Sasha over until WrestleMania until we can get Bailey versus um, Sasha at WrestleMania 33. That's what I want to see. And what do you guys think? Keeping this video short, do you think I'm an idiot for what I'm thinking about? Or do you guys agree with me? Comment down below. Share this video out with your friends so they can leave their thoughts down below too. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you want to follow me on anything other than YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, all linked in the description down below. And with that being said, I am Sean the Gamer. And I am out of here.